Hey everyone, it's Susie. I want to make sure I get these in frame. This is my second time around because I got out of frame. So, anyway, uh, I wanted to share some little journals. Of course, more junk journals. I'm telling you, I have just been on a roll with these junk journals. Uh, junk journals are, are really a fun thing to make because you don't have to worry about being precise or, you know, cut your measurements right. And I just love junk journals, so... Anyway, uh, I made a couple more like the traveler sized, and then I made one with a harder cover here. It's not a real heavy chipboard, it's just a lightweight chipboard, but it's, it's got a pretty uh, sturdy cover to it. Uh, first time I've ever sewed it out of the bi uh, off the binding like that, where it's so thick. And Anyway, it was more difficult to do than I thought it would be you know, trying to get the papers. It's got two signatures, and I probably put them a little too far away and made them too thick. But anyway, that's all part of trial and error there when you're doing something kind of out of your box. So uh, anyway, the papers in this journal here um, come, are their digital downloads from Dreams Etc. Jen over there. And uh, anyway, uh, she's got some really gorgeous download so be sure and go over and check her out I'm gonna put the links to uh, her Etsy shop I will also put the links to Tiffy Butter and Amity Blooms um, uh, channels so that you can watch their videos because that's where the inspiration come from for the travelers notebooks was from Tiffy Butter and uh, of course then they told me that Amity, Amity Bloom was the one who actually uh, came up with this so anyway be sure and go over and check them out. This here is the back. I've used a lot of lace in here, which is something I don't usually do. Uh, I did use some of the gathered ribbon. I actually got this on a spool from Hobby Lobby. This uh, paper kit right here, the download, uh, is called Cottage Rose. It's really cute. Um, just I just fell in love with it when I saw it. I'm kind of leaning more to the digital downloads with my... Uh, junk journals. I don't get to the scrapbook store that much anymore. I don't have one really close to me uh, like I used to. So uh, anyway, uh, I've just been going kind of, I'm going to be going to the digital downloads on my on my junk journals mainly. Uh, I've, of course, I got enough paper to last me probably 10 years anyway, even if I never went to the scrapbook store again, but that's just a whole other story. So uh, anyway, I have just made a seam binding closure with the with the little uh, grommet there. And uh, I did on my spine, I did add the seam binding, and these are some little Tim Holtz Hope and Dream. I've just kind of tied them on the seam ribbon there. A uh, little Seven Gypsies pin there. Looks like a little locker pin. Uh, these here are Martha Stewart's. They're not really metal, they're kind of a plastic, but they look metal. And they stick on really well. Uh, here I have uh, stitched this here. It's not really a tuck spot. I've just stitched it and, and glued it on. The covers are just the tea stained uh, papers, copy paper. That's all it is. I didn't really use a, use a pattern paper of any type. I just wanted to use the copy stained or paper there. Uh, a couple of tags. Aren't those images gorgeous? And I did copy this on the lighter weight, I think it was 24 pound weight parchment paper there. And there's another little tag. Well, this here, I take that back. This is the 30, 32 pound. It's a little bit stiffer. Uh, for the pages, I did do the 24 pound parchment paper. So here's some of that baked parchment paper there. Uh, I did try to do, uh, use some lace in this. It's something I don't usually do is use the lace, but I know a lot of them do, it, you know, when you're watching junk journal videos. And so I wanted to try my hand at that. So uh, this is just an old postcard here. And I've just set it in the lace pocket. Oops. I can get it in there. And then here's some of that paper. I want to check and make sure I am in frame. 
<laughs> I don't want to do this video again. Uh, here's another image here. I love this old cottage. That is so pretty. Um, here's just some old, I believe this is ledger paper here. And some of my, whoops, stained paper. I've caught an extra page there because here's one of them little images from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the paper. Isn't that pretty? And then here's Old Cottage Charm. Here's just some tags I've just bound together with a little clip there, Brad. And then here's some old ledger paper. I found this at Antique Mall, and it is really thick. I don't know. It's Wilson Jones, which, you know, uh, I forget it. I think it, the cover weighed four and a half pounds that it came in. And I believe it was from the 40s when I looked it up. So, But that paper is super thick for ledger paper. You don't find it that thick anymore. But that's some of that ledger paper there. This here is just old composition notebook. Uh, it was from the 40s. I found it also. Same day I found the ledger paper. A woman had wrote uh, war bonds from 1946 all the way up to the 70s in it. Uh, where she had uh, bought war bonds and life insurance and all kinds of things from 1940 to 1970. And then uh, here's some more of those images. I tied the um, signature in, on the, in the, on the inside. I've seen that and I really like it. It's cute with those uh, thread hanging in there. <clears throat> Ledger paper. Here's some more of that image. Just some brown car, uh, craft paper. Isn't that pretty? There's nests and eggs is what it says. Isn't that pretty? Oh, book paper there. I found these at Joann's. And they are Tim Holtz. And they are so cute. These little paper clips. Or clips. I don't, aren't those cute? They look so old. I absolutely fell in love with those. I had to have some of those. Here's just a brown paper bag put in there. Here's some tags. And this here, I have just used some book paper. And uh, I cut out this image off of one of the tags and then cut out the word London and just kind of collaged it there. Here's some more of that little gathered ribbon there. Country Charm. More of that back side of that composition notebook. Paper. Little tuck spot. That's another. Got my lace sewed on there. Parchment paper. More ledger. Here's another image. Just sewed some of that lace on there. Just. Just sewed it on. Another one of these clips. I believe these clips are Tim Holtz clips too. And then here I've just uh, paper clipped a couple of, oh here's this image here of a horse. And, isn't that pretty? I just use for a small pocket. Another tag. Another pretty tag. Just sewed, or, uh, tied some twine on it. And then here I've just made out of those old book pages a couple of spots for tags. Thought it'd be cute even if you want to put some photos in there would be cute. So anyway, and then of course there's the back. Anyway, that's that's my little trial and error one at, at trying to do this the sewed on a harder cover. That, and like I said, that actually was a little harder than what I thought it would be, you know, trying to line it all up and make sure you've got it in there just right. Here is another just traveler sized junk journal. Um, I love the cover on this one. I like the sewed. And I've got some of this just real thin fabric here that you can just fray out, which I absolutely love. It looks kind of old and vintage. 
this is just one of the the pictures off of one of those old uh, booth photos of Tim Holtz that you can buy. They come, you know, in the threes. I just cut, cut that off of there and stitched around it. I actually even stitched a little flower there on the side. Or glued it. I didn't stitch it. Anyway, here is the inside to this. And I want to be sure. I know I'm getting out of frame every little bit here, but... Anyway, here's uh, the Funky Buffalo copy sleeve. Here is just a little tag. This is a tag that uh, a long time ago, I can't even tell you how long ago, I did a tag stop, swap with uh, Debbie, and uh, oh my goodness, I still have tags from that tag swap. Here's an old Coca-Cola ad. This is actually came off the cover of a, the old National Geographic magazine, so it's really nice and sturdy. I've just sewed some lace on that old photo. Of, it's a Tim Holtz old-time photo. Here's just some railroad company paper there. Here's my Chili's bag. And, of course, one of the little booklets. Here is an old message. Paper. I'll just put it in that brown envelope there. Here's the Starbucks bag. Here's the old bank. Here's the uh, Harvest Bank money, whatever you want to call it. Money sleeve. Here's Refresh, Pause. This is all kind of Coca-Cola. This even came off that AdWords describing, you know, Coca-Cola. How refreshing it is. <laughs> Here's a, oh, uh, another piece of that kind of stiff that I just cut out of the cover. And then I've just sewed that on that bank sleeve there. And then here is another old bank check in there. Another one of these old old ads there. Ledger paper. That's the other part of the Starbucks bag. An old postcard. Here is a um, coaster from Olive Garden. It was funny. Uh, me and my sister had went to Branson, I don't know, several weeks back. We went to eat at Olive Garden, and when they brought the coaster, she said, oh, wouldn't that work well in your junk journal? So we kept the coasters. We didn't put our cups on them, and it was funny. But anyway, I did cover the back for uh, journaling. Yeah, it was funny. I've got her now noticing things for junk journals, which is really funny. <laughs> she, she's not a scrapbooker, but she helps me out. And then here I've just put a little a little flower off of some cloth there just to kind of give that a little bit of a little bit of look there in that little pocket. And then of course here's the rest of the other ends of everything. The bag. And that just tips up there. And that's a ledger paper. And there's the back of that. And then on this one here, I mean, it's basically, they're, a junk journal's a junk journal. You know, when you've seen one, you've just about seen them all, I think. But just the difference in what's, you know, maybe just a hair different on the inside. But this here, I actually took an old simplicity pattern and I glued it to the cover. Which kind of gave it a little bit of interesting uh, look. And then I used some old postcards in this one. And there's the bank. I did sew on this old time card here, I or time clock card. Um, some stitched um, uh, fabric there. And there's another one of those little cappuccino. And then I've just stapled it on that envelope. Use some of that washi tape there. Another old ad. Here's just a 
piece of ephemera there and then old bank check there. Here are some more tags from that tag swap. <laughs> Hard to believe I still have some of those tags. I have not used them all. And I know that's been probably three years ago or so we did that tag swap. And then here's just another little book to go in the bag. Here is just a little awards, state liability something awards. So, anyway, 1913, huh? That's some old ephemera in it. I wonder what one cent for postage. <laughs> and then a Starbucks bag. Here's a little name card there and another Tim Holtz photo card or photo. And then another flower in that like I showed you in the other one. Here I've just put a little paper folded up in that one. And then here's just a little, little journaling or photo mat or something. And then here's an inventory card. And here's, I've sewed some lace on this little Tim Holtz old time photo. Here's an old card. I couldn't even tell you what year that was, but it's really brittle. And I have just, this is the front of it, and then this is the inside. I've just put on each side there. Here's just a little piece of ephemera there. And then a little piece just sewn on, flips up. Here's some place if you wanted to journal, put a picture on. Another tag there, dress form. Coffee sleeve used as a tuck spot. And anyway, that's that's the end of that junk journal. But anyway, I have really had a good time making these junk journals. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. Uh, here's my little my little junk journals. And also, um, someone had asked me to do a tutorial on the Parisian Cafe recipe album and I am going to do that I don't know if I'll get it done by the end of April but anyway I couldn't get an 8 by 8 pad I went to the scrapbook store a weekend or so ago I didn't really want to order it online and all I could find was a 12 by 12 so I am going to make it out of the 12 by 12 uh, instead of the 8 by 8 but the prints is just going to be bigger on it so but anyway, I'm going to try to get that done at least by the second week of May and get it uploaded. So anyway, thanks so much for watching.